Dr. Olaf von Schuler recently arrived in New Amsterdam with his lunatic mother, two bags of medical implements, a carefully guarded book of his own medicines, moved into a one-room house near White's Hall, and soon found work at the hospital on Brugge Street. There, surrounded by misshapen bottles containing tinctures of saffron, wild strawberry, maple, and oil of amber, as well as more common tools of the trade, amputation saws, scalpels, sharpened needles, and long, painstakingly pounded probes, he indulged in his particular perversion, slicing heads. I must have the corpse, the doctor whispered before the constable yanked Richard away. Promise me the corpse. What little remains, Richard said over his shoulders, if it is mine to give. Your innocence is assured, the doctor said firmly. Only science can explain the night's happenings. Sheila married a lawyer a year later. His name was Stanley Talbot, and he too was much older than she. He had a thick beard and wore torn jackets to court to get a rise from the suits, he said. She met him at a bar, and she was certain that he noticed her breasts from across the room. He commented on them later that night as she lay beside him on his waterbed. You have the most beautiful knockers, he said. <laughs> Silicone technology. <laughs> well, her breasts had personality, pizzazz. When she laughed, they too bounced with mirth. <laughs> Since her uncle had replaced her leaking implant, she'd had no further troubles, and now she carried her D like a natural. How are we today, he asks. We're fine, Dad answers. I'm Elizabeth, Stuart's daughter. James Cranston. <laughs> I have the MRI results. Dr. Cranston, clipboard at his side now, turns to me and smiles. We did an MRI Friday morning. It's a standard test. I know, I say. My daughter's a doctor, my father says. A medical doctor. I stiffen. A medical doctor. I am a new graduate again, and my dad, expectant smile as wide as his fist makes his offer. You'll take over the practice when I retire. Pride still rings in the words I spoke then. I'd rather help people. A family of doctors, eh? Dr. Cranston smiles. <coughs> Runs in the blood or something. My father snorts.